What's good everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Today we've got some awesome Nintendo Switch and RPG news. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're starting off with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom version 1.2.0. And this one's actually exciting because there's gonna be some items coming your way in the brand new The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom channel on the official Nintendo Switch news page on your Nintendo Switch. So let's go ahead and jump into what we can get here. The update, there's just been some general updates here so by starting the game from within certain articles released on a specific switch news channel access via the home menu players can receive a number of in-game items now depending on the state of gameplay progression or the location in which the data is reopened there may be cases in which items cannot be received so it depends on where you are but i think this is pretty cool they're going to give you some tools some items in order to get yourself going or certain special things maybe even certain fused weapons that you can use in the game so to me that kind of sets up for okay there's going to be some additional content additional things happening maybe the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom dlc they're going to start talking about that or maybe even announce it through the official page and also a new trailer so i think that that is exciting for legend of zelda tears of the kingdom fans as fans do all sorts of crazy stuff like build a master hand and do all sorts of crazy musical stuff there are just some wild inventions going on tears of the kingdom is incredible and we actually have a little bit of extra information that's pretty exciting about tears of the kingdom that we'll go over after i finish with the update here now we have additional fixes here there's quite a number of things i'm going to list it right here on page for you guys because it's just a number of stuff in terms of can't progress or some bugs or issues in certain circumstances so that'll be posted right here now it also fixed an issue preventing fairies from appearing under certain conditions when they originally should have appeared fixed an issue preventing the meals provided by Kiana of Lurin Village from changing under certain conditions and several issues have been addressed to improve the gameplay experience. Now we don't know if that's going to be performance fixes. Nintendo never talks about or says performance fixes in their patch notes. They always just say stuff to improve the gameplay experience. So since it's a smaller update, I'm not sure if that is the case. But of course, if you guys have noticed anything different in some areas that were a little bit slower or maybe it's been sped up or there wasn't any issues there, let me know in the chat. Now let's talk about the rest of this here. There is some pretty big news with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's actually the game with the most awarded perfect scores of all time on Metacritic, which is just wild to see that and also another thing that was noted is that in the uk one of nintendo's weakest areas for game sales legend of zelda tears of the kingdom is back again at the number one spot after it dipped down to number two when final fantasy 16 came out which i did cover in a video but some of you guys were tweeting and tagging me about that so it's pretty cool to see legend of zelda tears of the kingdom sell incredibly well even in markets and areas to where nintendo isn't as strong although with the nintendo switch nintendo's been pretty strong in the uk all things could considered it's just not one of their biggest areas especially after the nintendo 3ds and wii u didn't really take off too much there so it's good to see tears of the kingdom still going strong and nintendo seems to be gearing up for some big dlc and big stuff coming to tears of the kingdom probably later in the year maybe we hear something by the september nintendo direct now let's go ahead and move on to the next topic here guys persona 5 tactica now listen this game obviously people aren't as excited because they want a persona 3 reload and some of atlas's other big titles to come over but this game is actually looking pretty good now that we have another look at a character trailer this is arena one of the new characters in the game and the tactics gameplay in here looks like it's going to be really quick get in get out type of play play portable wise and it's looking very sleek as well now i'm a huge fan of fire emblem and tactics ogre and strategy rpgs so this looks like an approachable one with some nice added depth where it needs to be and of course some incredible music as well so let's go ahead and let's get into the persona 5 tactica trailer introducing arena now a girl who saves joker and the phantom thieves when they wandered into the world read morgana's character description from the official japanese website she isn't the best at thinking of details and tends to act without putting much thought into things but it is through this ability to act and her cheerful and spirited personality that she was able to garner the trust of others, making her the leader of the revolution. In order to accomplish this revolution, she tries to strike a deal with the Phantom Thieves to help her. But what will happen? Then, of course, Persona 5 Tactica is coming out on pretty much everything on November 17th 
worldwide, which that's a good date, but that's also a date of Super Mario RPG. So that's going to be tough for some people to pick between the two in terms of what you're going to play first. Me, I'm definitely playing Super Mario RPG first, but I'll probably get a review code for Persona 5 Tactica. So I think it'll be a pretty cool game just to play beforehand. But yeah, I think this game is looking better and better with each trailer. I think the footage and the tactics gameplay in here looks really good. Looks like it's a really fun mashup between Persona 5 and really like Mario plus Rabbids and a various other types of games. I think that they kind of looked at a lot of different things here with the free movement in the areas and then some of the different specials that you can do, team up attacks. So I like it. I like what they're doing here. And I think that it's going to be a solid tactics game, at least in my opinion. But speaking of bigger Persona games in Atlas, Persona 3 Reload got a brand new Anime Expo trailer 2023. Got some new screenshots. Man, this game is looking very nice. Now, this is from the Xbox version that you guys are seeing here. There is that marketing deal, so everything's pretty much going to show Xbox first. So, Atlas has released the Anime Expo 2023 trailer and screenshots for the Persona 3 remake, Persona 3 Reload, which features the English voice cast for the first time. Now, the trailer features six of the new voice actors from the game, including all the people that you see right here. Persona 3 Reload is due out for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and PC via Steam and the Microsoft Store in early 2024. And no, there is not a Switch version. There's been rumors and there was stuff beforehand, but now it's been confirmed. At least at this point, there is no Nintendo Switch version. So we'll see if it comes out later or if they decide to do maybe a Nintendo Switch 2 version of the game. But it also will be on Xbox Game Pass. And the more that i look at this game the more that i kind of see like the unreal engine development compared to what persona 5 does which looks a bit more cartoony this one has a bit more of those shaders and that look that you would see in unreal engine so i kind of see the differences here between persona 5 and persona 3 reload but the game looks awesome I do think that at first, when I first looked at some of the hit animations and stuff, it seemed like I had like lacking a little bit of like oomph to some of the hits. It seemed like a bit weak, but I think that some of them did look really good too. So it's a combination. So I need to see all the sound effects once we get our hands on the game. But I'm looking forward to it. I think this is going to be a really good remake of the game. It's only missing some of that content or more like a lot of the content from Persona 3 FES and also Persona 3 Portables. So we'll see what they do to balance that out or if there's DLC in the future or if they do Persona 3 Reload FES. Yes, I mean, like, you never know. Or maybe they do Persona 3 Reload Portable, and that's the Switch version with extra content. Goodness gracious, who knows what's going to happen with this and what Atlas does and their 7, 8, sometimes 10-year plans for remakes, re-releases, remasters, redoings, retellings. They've done this so many times. So we'll see exactly how everything works out. Now, we do have another topic to go over, another RPG remake, and that is Atelier Marie remake, The Alchemist of Salberg. We got a how to play trailer now this is kind of flying under the radar for a lot of people but don't let it fly under the radar this was a never released in america game and it is the first atelier game ever so of course we know atelier riser right we know about the atelier games atelier marie some of the good games that people do like to play here but if you want to go back and play the original atelier game where it all started this is it never been released here in america never been released in europe it was a japan only exclusive back i think on the ps1 and there's a lot of cool mechanics and systems in this game i think it's going to be a solid remake it has a chibi cute type of look to it but i think that there's a lot of deep gameplay experience here so publisher koei tecmo and developer gust have released a brand new trailer for atelier marie remake the alchemist of salberg which introduces the fundamentals of alchemy and experiencing what the game has to offer this game is coming to ps5 ps4 switch and pc via steam on july 13th so it's going to be here before you even know it and like i said i think that the exploration looks really good i do like the art in the game the combat looks like it can be fun as well there's a lot of little questions works and little things in this game that really impress me with what they're doing and i think that this is probably the right way to go with the graphics and the right way to go with it because it doesn't look too bad in motion i think that it actually looks solid once you start going through the game and this is a pretty beefy type of game on the ps1 and the art style and how it looked so i doubt they'd be able to make the game graphically look like atelier riza i think that would take way longer It'd probably not be profitable overall but this is a way to finally bring over some of these japan exclusive rpgs these japan exclusive games 
over. And I think that the Nintendo Switch obviously is a platform that's helped bolster the Atelier franchise to where Koei Tecmo feels very confident releasing a game like this. Because without the Nintendo Switch, I don't think the PlayStation would be enough with the sales. We're starting to see that there is more of a split going more towards the Nintendo side with games like Atelier Ryza 3 and other types of Atelier games coming and Koei Tecmo titles in general. So I think that the Nintendo Switch is helping get some of these Japan only games, some of these smaller titles over because they have a really big sales install base to sell the game to in Japan and in the US with the Nintendo Switch where people are buying a lot more of these smaller double A type of RPGs and smaller games that have done incredibly well on the Switch platform. So very happy to see that and things are looking good when it comes down to all the different rpgs that are coming i'm actually really excited to see even more and the future of course so what are your thoughts on all these different topics here when it comes to the nintendo switch playstation xbox persona atelier persona 5 tactica legend of zelda tears of the kingdom exciting times when it comes to nintendo switch and rpgs let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell. Check out some of our other videos right here on screen. And we will see you for the next one. Peace.